Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boyskins here today, and we are back. Welcome to the fifth progress video on Rune Live. Now, today, this tab here will be worn. I will be wearing the Torva, the Verz, the Pernix, the Spirit Shield set. I can already wear the Bandos and the Rape here and stuff, but I'll be wearing the Zebo, Karasi, Armadale Crossbow. I can't wait to wear the ACB, to be honest. I'm actually so excited to see what this thing can do. And the, uh, and the Flame Burst Defender. Can't wait to see what that can do either. But, first, we need to get maxed. Now, what we need to do is get 99 Dungeoneering and 99 Summoning. 99 Summoning will be extremely easy, bear in mind, because all I need to do is Train Slayer. Um, I need to Train Slayer so that I can get uh, Charms as drops. And it's... Seeing as it's double XP, is it still double XP? I don't know if it's double XP. Let me, um, I'm pretty sure it is. But um, even if it's not, it will still get maxed today. And I, I can't wait, to be honest, because I've, I've been wanting to wear this tab that I have for so long now. And today is the day we're going to finally get around to be able to do that. So I'm excited. Uh, I hope all you guys are excited as well, because this is what we've been working towards, guys. And... I'm gonna go. Tra I'm not gonna mess around. I'm gonna go train Slayer now. I've got a skeletal wyvern task, and I'll probably get. Um, I don't know if they drop many charms, but hopefully they do. I'm gonna collect all the charms that get dropped, and then once we hit 99 summoning for the rest of the episode, I'm probably just gonna be grinding out a bunch of um, dungeoneering, uh, getting that up to 99, and then we'll be golden uh, for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the series. Because once I'm maxed, as you know, I can wear that special tab that I've got, and um, we're gonna. We're, I'm excited. So without further ado, let's go train Slayer. Okay, guys. So on my first skeletal wyvern drop, I actually got a starved ancient effigy. So I could, because I'm almost maxed, I could use all um, all of the effigy to get to this point where I can choose to put um, thingy, uh, however much XP on a random skill. And it's, I can do it on anyone, so I can do it on Dungeoneering or Summoning. And I think I'm going to put it on Dungeoneering. Because that's going to take longest to train, so I'm definitely going to do Dungeoneering. Uh, 2 mil XP. 2 mil XP. Holy shit. So, 87 Dungeoneering already. <laughs> that's pretty big. I'm actually pretty hyped about that. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to crack on with the rest of this task. Get 99 summoning and then we'll get dungeoneering out of the way. You know what guys, I fucking hate Camtasia. I hate it. Literally. Oh. Sometimes, right, in the middle of recording, right, it will just it'll just stop working. It won't record audio, it won't record video, it will record nothing. I've mentioned this before, and it just happened as soon as I got this. I don't fucking believe it. I honestly, I don't believe it. I'm not even lying. You can, it will say up here somewhere that I got it as a drop and not as a donation. Look, Skins has just received a Dragon Warhammer from a Skeletal Wyvern. What the shit? Camtasia stopped working. I'm fucking, oh, I don't believe it, man. I would have loved to get that recorded. There's actually no fucking way. What the fuck? Is this real life? What? one what the fuck I was literally just thinking like two minutes before that hey what if I got another one that would be pretty cool and then I just fucking got it what the fuck I don't understand I don't even have the ring of wealth on I have no drop rate bonus at all and I just got another dragon warhammer what the fuck honestly I'm not complaining but holy shit I'm pretty fucking hyped. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna put this one in my fucking player own shop as well. Okay, so I actually just finished a Ice Strike Worms Slayer task. I uh, got a bunch of charms from it, so hopefully I can get to 99 with the charms I have. Uh, I'd be really, uh, really thankful if I. <coughs> Excuse me. Been having throat problems recently, I don't know why. But uh, hopefully I can get to 99. Uh, with the charms I have, and then all I have to do is get to uh, 99 Dungeoneering, which I'll just grind out for the rest of the night. It's actually quite late, in case you couldn't already tell by my voice, um, a bit more quiet. 
it's uh, quarter to quarter to midnight basically and my dad's in bed so I need to keep it down a bit so I'm just gonna train some summoning and then dungeoneering if I get to 99 if I don't get to 99 I'm just gonna be doing more slayer there it is guys 99 summoning I didn't even need to use the blue charms I'm gonna use them anyway you know might put me a bit a bit, uh, bit higher in the leaderboards um, when they eventually get around to working. I don't think the high scores actually work at the minute, which is unfortunate, because I'd like to see where I am. I've also got to 95 Dungeoneering, hoping to get to 99 before, um, like, 5 o'clock. But I uh, really... It's so boring, man. I'm just so bored of it. I, I tried to do it with people, and you get a less XP if you do it with people, so I'm just doing it on my own at the minute. But um, I might just have to grind it out for as long as I possibly can. I know that I'm close, I only need four more levels. But literally, it's so boring. Like I just can't stand it anymore. It's, I'm so bored of it. But um, yeah, I'm probably just going to grind out now for a bit and see how it goes. Uh, probably get to like... I'm hoping that I can like... If I get bored of it, I'm probably just going to do loads of Slayer and hope that I can get a... Um, Thingy, uh, one of those starved ancient effigies because they give like 2 million XP uh, at the uh, final lamp part. So, uh, probably going to be doing that if I can't get to 99 um, fairly quickly. But uh, hopefully, all goes well. Um, I'll probably have a bunch of points saved up now, so that will come in handy if I ever need to buy like a uh, chaotic crossbow or something and I don't have um, money for it. Because as you may or may not know, in the uh, extreme donator zone shop, they actually sell every chaotic for 250 mil um, each. But of course, if I buy it through dungeoneering tokens, it's free. So if I if I ever need to buy some chaotics or just one chaotic, I guess I'll probably do it through here. Maybe one day I'll um, start a chaotic collection and just see how many I can rake up be quite cool for the um, PVM tab be interesting to see how many I can get out of that but um, yeah for now just gonna stick out dungeoneering I'm doing the um, th uh, third complexity because you get um, about 400k XP for uh, each floor you do um, depending on whether it's uh, double XP or not it, it is double XP at the minute but there's no well of goodwill um, XP bonus so we are here guys, the end, the end of the grinding, here we go, I'm, I'm not fully prepared for this, I've been working, I'm gonna add, I'm actually curious as to how long this has taken me, let's have a look, but 99 Dungeoneering, Skins has just achieved the maximum level in all skills, that is fucking beast, right, and it only took us, if I leave this, uh, leave the Dungeoneering area, it only took us 240 hours. Not bad. And somehow we gained all this cash? What? Was that part of the achievement or what? Or maybe my Dragon Warhammer sold. I'm not too sure, but either way, we're up to 2.2 bill somehow. I'm not going to complain. So, of course, the time has now come where I can wear this very beautiful tab here. And what I'm going to do is just transition it into my PVM slash PK tab. I haven't done any PKing on here as of yet, but I, I do plan on doing some in the future if I can get, like, really OP gear. And I'll just, like, go, like, Deep Wilderness. That's when, um, when we get a few more players, like, maybe in the 300s or something. I plan on um, getting beast gear and just, you know, going deep wilderness peaking and um, seeing what we can do. I think that'll make for really entertaining videos, so I'll probably, I'll definitely be doing that when um, we have the players. I'm gonna move the P hat into this tab. I might actually sell it. But um, yeah, the plan for now is achievements um, and road to completionist. And of course, I've still got the side goal of 100 bill cash. Nothing has changed. But, look at that, tab's just completely gone, and now it's all in here, beautiful. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, tits, boys, oh my god. Basically, just look at the tab for a second, this, just, this isn't what 
I'm ecstatic about. But look at the tab; it's looking quite nice. Basically, and these, uh, these, this force, these uh, spots here, I'm gonna collect um, Vestas, um, Statius, Zuriels, and Morrigans, and just fill up this space here. So it looks, it, it will tie the tab together, in my opinion. But basically. Eight bill cash. Eight bill cash. Eight bill cash. Holy shit! Must have sold the party hat. Must have sold. The, I have. I've sold the party hat. Eight bill. Holy shit! We're close. Well, we're not really. We're not actually that close, to be honest. We still have a way to go. But eight bill cash. Holy shit! I'm ecstatic. I'm actually pretty excited. Um, I was doing some achievements, and then I just my coin pouch was out open, and it just went from like. Two to five, to, not two to five, from two to eight, and I was just like, "What?" And then I realised, "Oh shit, the party hat, of course." Eight bill cash, holy shit, this is good. This is good. And if you're thinking, "Well, that's not very fair," you, you donated for that. Well, that's that, that. Surely that doesn't count. Listen, okay. I put 240 hours into getting maxed. I, th I think I think that you guys should let me off, okay? 240 hours into getting maxed, just so I could use that tab, and I sold one item out of it, okay? Just chill, okay, chill. Able cash. Right, guys, so we are all geared up in this beautiful Torva and the Flame Burst Defender as well. Can't forget the Flame Burst Defender. I just voted, so we're gonna see what we're gonna get. White Dehyde Body. And a Torax body, okay, so pretty, pretty junk, if I do say so myself. I might actually make a junk tab, just for things like that. I'm actually going to make one, and the white dehyde is going to be the, the, the front page of the junk tab. But anyway, I thought this would be a good time to update you all on um, what I'm going to be doing right now. So I'm going to the Extreme Donator Zone, and I'm going to kill the revs that are there. I've got the Ring of Wealth on. And hopefully I can get a, uh, a drop, that would be ideal, um, so I can add it to my uh, little collection. Well, it will one day be a collection. Oh man, there's bank chests here and everything. Jesus, this is actually really well thought out. But anyway, I'm just going to kill these revs for a bit. It's, it's probably it's probably mage, right? Yeah. So, um, if I get a drop, I'll alert you all. And um, from here on out, um, after I've, I, I'll just be working on... Um, achievements, you know, doing Slayer, uh, killing bosses, revs, everything. Oh shit, this is doing some fucking work. What do I pray? What do I pray? Is it range? Is it mage? Magic? Really? I don't fucking know. Anyway, I'm just going to kill a couple of these and hopefully we can get some beast drops. Well, no luck with the revs. I was there for about, I was there for a good hour. I got some artifacts and stuff and sold them. But, um, yeah, no drops, unfortunately. I don't know what to... I'm not entirely sure what I should do right now. Um, maybe I'll try a boss. I don't know. I really don't know what to do. Um, phew. When I think of something, uh, I'll probably, probably do that. But honestly, I don't know what to do. Like, before, I had something to do because I was getting maxed and stuff. But now that I'm fully maxed, I, just, I can't think of anything to do besides these achievements and what the plan is I'm just gonna knock out a bunch of these next episode um, but uh, for the remainder of the, of the episode I want to do something um, something interesting you know I want to want to do something I might do that actually where is it if I go back um, where is it Ganodermic Beast is it this isn't in the board no it's not in the board this I might do this and oh shit I don't have any food. Probably gonna need food. But um yeah I'll just uh, probably kill this. I'll okay, get there's someone here, never mind. I don't know. I'll find some I'll probably find a boss to do um that isn't occupied and then just do that. Right guys, I am in fact going to be wrapping the episode up here, unfortunately. I think this one came out a bit short. I'm not too sure. Like I said, it all depends on um how I edit it and how short it comes down to, but um, the main thing is we got maxed in this uh, in this episode. We're fully maxed, apart from construction, obviously. 
but um, we'll probably use just um, lamps to get that up. But um, yeah, this Pernix body is quite fucked up. So is the mask actually, it's quite fucked up. Huh. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like for us getting fully maxed, that's beautiful. Uh, leave a comment, as always, on any ideas you have for the series or any um, ideas you have for uh, Rune Live in general. Make sure you subscribe as well, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Adios.